Okay. Hi guys, I'm Mark Reyes, an incoming sophomore, and I'm running for next year's public relations chair. As I was brainstorming what to say for this speech, I went to Seafood City with my friends Foyland, Patrick, Sam, and Justine. Seeing all the foods I used to eat back in the motherland made me really homesick. It's been almost four years since I moved here, and moments like these made me want to book a flight back home ASAP. However, I realized that I was surrounded by my lifelong friends that I met in PAC, and these sad feelings went away. PAC became my slice of home away from home, and I was heavily moved by the impact of this year's cab as their effort and hard work in reviving what PAC was like pre-COVID and dealing with the transition from online to in-person inspired me to run for this position. The role of PR chair is maintaining connecting, oh, sorry, is maintaining connections with other organizations and handling all things promotion and communication in aspects such as word of mouth, social media posts, flyers, posters, banners, just to name a few. I am capable of handling this responsibility because of my extensive knowledge and experience in graphic design related matters and social media promotions. First off, I consider myself to be very tech savvy and I have experience in using most social media applications. Yes, I am one of the only people around here that still uses Facebook for fun. But besides that, I know my way around these apps and will make it a point to update these as often as possible. Second, I honestly enjoy making promotional material and find it therapeutic in making them too. Because ever since I was in middle school, I saw opportunities like this to practice like the art apps such as Photoshop, Illustrator, Procreate, just to avoid getting rusty. And this is like, especially when I don't have time to make any personal art. With that being said, I will gladly lend my fellow cab members a hand if they need a fire any or need anything to be made to promote an event they are running. Overall, I was able to gain all this experience through my work as a mental health activist and taking part in campus journalism in high school. I've been a member of a mental health organization called My State of Mind since October 2019, and we advocate for youth mental health awareness. As an artist for this organization, I was tasked with making infographics and artworks for them on topics like mental health issues and how to cope with them, as well as how to practice um, mental health um, positively. In addition to this, I have a combined total of four years doing campus journalism, with the last two years serving as a news editor and editor-in-chief, respectively. My responsibilities in these positions involve communicating with all students, clubs, teachers, and staff, as well as remaining up to date with news in order to report these back to the community. Going into specifics with the experience I gained in my senior year as editor-in-chief, primary concerns we had were trying to figure out how to shift our workflow to an online environment, as well as reconnecting back with the student body. This was achieved through using Instagram to connect and inform students about what we were doing and just like essentially creating hype. This, this meant implementing a new practice of making flyers to give previous on like what was in our newest issues, as well as encouraging student involvement. I also created a system of making what I called master surveys. So basically it's a huge Google form with all like the survey questions with um, for the pages that were gonna be covered in the issue. And this just made it more organized just to send it out to the student body and um, made it easy for my page editors and writers to get input for their articles. I'm proud to say that I was able to successfully leave uh, to successfully lead my staff in this process as we were one of the only active clubs on campus that kept the school spirit alive. The legacy that I left behind changed the way that my newspaper club operates as my successors now do both physical and digital publishing. With all the things I learned these past few years, I'm excited to apply these when carrying my task as PR chair, not only prioritizing aesthetics, but I also want to highlight organization and professionalism just to elevate the image of PAC. I will make it my goal to make promotional materials that are pleasing to the eye, intriguing, oh, make it intriguing so that people will join our club and as well as encourage people to come out and support the events that we plan. I will also make sure that the communication between fellow CAM members, GEN members, and other supporting organizations is swift so that no, plan, no planned event gets left behind in the dust in terms of promotion. Thank you.